Hi Starfish and welcome to today's talk where we're going to be learning about how Jesus is the light of the world. Who is afraid of the dark? A lot of people are afraid of the dark and if you are you might feel quite scared and frightened sometimes at night when you're trying to sleep and so an adult sometimes might leave something like a light on to stop you from being scared. Lights often help us feel safe and stop us from banging into things in the dark and being scared. Light also means that we can see all of God's wonderful creations and it can help things like trees and plants grow which gives us lots of food to eat. In the Bible reading today Jesus met a man who couldn't see. The man had been born blind. He had never been able to see, not once in his whole life. Jesus decided to he heal the man. He took some dirt and mixed it with his own spit then he spread the mud on the blind man's eyes and told him to go wash in a pool of water nearby. And when the man did, he could see again. It was a miracle. Some people were quite, weren't very happy about this though. Some people didn't even believe it was the man, same man that had been born blind. And some people were angry because Jesus had done work on the Sabbath, which is meant to be a holy day. The neighbours and church leaders were so suspicious that they were questioning the healed man and his parents. And they, by doing this, they missed out on seeing the wonderful miracle that had just happened. In the story, the blind man before Jesus had healed him would have, would have been a bit scared, a bit like how sometimes we can be scared of the dark. But then once Jesus had healed him, he was able to see and not be scared again and see all of God's wonderful creations through his own eyes. In the second reading today, Jesus talks about how he was light of, the light of the world. The second reading says, When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world, and whoever follows in me will walk, never walk in darkness, but will have light of life. In the Bible reading here, Jesus is telling us that he will keep us safe, a bit like how light keeps you safe in the dark, or how it can help plants to grow so we can have food to eat. And in the song, My Lighthouse, we sing about how Jesus shines in the darkness and that we can follow him. So to remind us of this today, we're going to make a lighthouse in the craft. We're going to make a lighthouse to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. And for the craft, you will need a Pringles can, some white paper, some red paper cut into strips, and if you don't have a red paper, you can always use a red pen, a electric tea light or a torch, a yogurt pot, some sellotape and some scissors. So first we're going to wrap the Pringles tube with the white paper. It might be a bit tricky to do this, so you might want to ask a grown up to help you. And then you're gonna stick the paper with sellotape to the tube. So next, you're going to add some red stripes to your tube. You could either use some red paper or you could use a red pen to do this. So you could either stick on the red stripes like you did with the white paper around the tube or you could draw them on. So when you finish sticking on your red strips or colouring in your red strips, we're going to put the electric tea light or the torch into the bottom of the tube and then put the yoghurt pot on top of it like that. So once you put your yoghurt pot lid on the top, you can light your electric torch or tea light and... So today for the prayers, I'm going to read a prayer 
and at the end if you agree with what i've said you can join in at the end by saying amen and whilst i'm reading the prayer i want you to sit really still and be quiet you could close your eyes or you could look on the screen at the pictures of nature that i've got playing it's up to you so dear god thank you for the sunshine that helps us to see all of the wonderful things that you have created for us to enjoy and thank you for giving us the stars and moon at night that shine for us. Thank you that you are the light of the world and that you help us to feel safe. And thank you that you are there to, for us to pray to and that you love us. Finally, thank you that even though we can't see our friends at Beach Mission this year, we're still able to meet with each other on Zoom and watch videos that the team have created to learn about you more. Amen. end of the video for today uh, I hope you really enjoyed it and if you want to send pictures of your craft to the beach mission email I'd love to see them bye